everybody, welcome to Adventure LPT, or should I say this is the Terraria Let's Play? Yeah, why not, Terraria Let's Play. We're going to be playing Adventure LPT, Let's Play Terraria Adventure. And last time, we killed the Eye of Cthulhu, and my god, that was so easy. Actually, I should really try to do it. Wait, what? Wait, where's the guide? I need the guide. I want to know what makes that a material. Oh, well, I want to kill the um, eye again. But for now, we're going to have to just wait. And wait. And wait. I actually, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit upset right now. And I'm a bit frustrated. So if I seem a bit cold or whatever. It might be because my room is actually cold right now. Yeah. Only because I turned on the cooler. Cool down my room because I was hot. Accidentally made the bow. Damn it. Kind of. My room is cold. I have a light in my room. And it doesn't work. So just imagine how peed I would be. If I was to. Let's just say. Turn on the light. And hope that I could see. Okay. Now I can't see. So there's no point in saying that. Because you know. It's, you have already know I failed. So, remember the last time, at the end of the episode, when we concluded it, we said we we're going to plan on expanding our house. And the reason we're going to expand our house is so we can get more NPCs and have the better availability. Now, originally in the series, the trick, we'll find out if it's even broken or not, because there are a few more houses, and they have tables and chairs, I have no idea. Goblin Tinker is still in that little corner I made him live in. <laughs> in the original episode, the reason we took that place is because we went looking underground for a place to stay. Really quickly, it was part of a plan. This is going to take a while. Now, the plan... I'm sorry, I'm losing my brains right now. Why it's so dark in this room? The plan currently is that we expand the house so we have some more NPCs. Now this is going to take us a while considering there's not much for real wood up here. And if we have some acorns, we should plant them so we can get some more trees here. Yay, trees. Oh, no more trees, okay. Bye bye tree. Okay. That wasn't bad, we still killed him. Now I've got to find some more wood. I am also thinking about a lot of things. I've made a comment I sent to all my friends and some other people, whoever reads it, fans, whatever. Why are there two different types of trees in Terraria? I thought this one's the corruption. This tree here means corruptions in the world. And the other one means there isn't corruption. That means crimson. I'm lost. Totally lost. Not really. There are two types of trees in this world, or were two types of trees in this world. If we get enough wood, we can go home really quickly, start mining, and get the house ready. Now, I'm pretty sure no one really wants to see the house getting built. But they might want to know the strategies behind building the house. Like, how to make it so it's more efficient. Like, you use less material and you can store all your stuff without it being in your way. You want to place tables, decorate, whatever. There is a strategy to doing that. It depends on how you really, really want to build your house. So, basically, no matter what I tell you, it's going to be ending up your design, your choice. Now, what tip I'm going to, I'm going to give you in this episode for building your house, a strategy, 
is actually a good one for you new players to learn because it's not that hard. I mean, hey, you can just place your chest right below your feet and you don't even have to worry about losing your space in your house and you don't have to try and expand. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it. Another way would be to basically put platforms in your house. And that's one way I actually do build my houses. I put platforms there. Now it's time to plant some seeds. And I always plant my seeds if I want more trees. And if you don't want trees anymore, go mine some coal or something, you know. Make yourself useful. Apart from falling in a hole. You don't have to fall in a hole. I had to fall in a hole. Now, just about every tree drops at least one or three acorns. Something between those numbers. I actually learned a trick and I shouldn't have done what I just did. Oh well. That was bad luck. Look, some trees have just shot up. We can actually grow the jungle biome here if we want. Or, we could put some glowing mushrooms up here. Then we don't have to go on the ground much anymore. Ooh, that'd be actually a very strategic idea. Hmm, but I've got to get up there. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not dying or anything. I'm going to get up here and place some more trees. I don't have to, but... Where else am I going to plant some trees? I don't really have any snow, and I like real wood. I like burial wood a lot, because it's a good um, designer wood. It's not like it's the best wood in the world, but still, it's a really good wood to use. Ow. I mean, if I can, I'll keep my house the same texture, because I like my house being one type of wood. Unless I go to my other worlds that I have, where i got different kinds of wood for my houses, then yeah. I'll change my mind. But still, I like to keep my house exactly the same on just about any world. Oh, I know what that is. That's the jungle. Not the jungle. The ocean palm tree. Oh, I'm just going to go back home. This is how we're going to do it. Bang! No slimes. So, now it's time to expand the house, but this time, we're going to do it even better than before. So how do we do this? No slimes falling from the sky. Well, we'll do the event first, I suppose. I mean, it's not going to harm us or anything. If only this event was later. Oh yeah, the dash shield. Right, right, right. I remember the dash shield. It takes about a thousand bullets to kill about four eye coolers. I didn't even realize that. Now, the slime event's really good because then you can get some items that probably be useful to you if you want to kill some bosses. So that's why they're useful items. Now, look at this, 10 now. don't even have to go mining anymore. This is the end of my mining trips. This is my mining. I'm just looking for a pinky. Okay, no pinkies. Come on, die. This is a good speed run. I mean, let's try this. Let's try this right now. Now, now, now. Let's do the speed run. Oh, by the way, if I didn't start the speed run already, a speed run for this would be I'm recording it at a normal speed. 
but when you go to see it, it's sped up in such a way that you can see everything happening a lot quicker than normal. That way you don't have to, like, wait till the end of the event. I mean, you don't want to see me shooting slimes all day, do you? I mean, I thought we were getting into business. Right? And it's something that I'm going to change. In the future, I'll be like... Oh, it's slime falling events. And this is not in these episodes. This will be in later episodes when I get around to it. I'll be like, oh, there's a slime event. Okay, when the boss is ready to spawn, I will... Let's... It's like, I will, I'll autonomously do it. I won't be like... I'll change my methods, because the way I'm talking about it is how I would normally do it. But I know that it's not going to be great methods to use in my videos. Or well, probably it could be, but still, I don't want to use it in my videos. Basically, I'm going to be like, the slime vent. Uh, I want to... We'll see this when we're fighting the boss, and we're fighting the boss now. Basically, we go straight into the boss. We don't worry about what we have to do to get the event. We do all the most important bits, the interesting bits, like... Oh, there's a Pinky! Let's kill Pinky! Like, do lots of skips. Rather than seeing everything that's boring, like... Shooting all these slimes is a bit boring to me. And I feel like, if someone made you watch this, made you watch killing 100 slimes, you get bored, and you hate slimes. Or something. You know, it, it's an enemy that's so basic, there's no challenge in it, there's no entertainment from watching someone kill slimes. Oh, I can kill a slime! I'm so incredible! No, you're not incredible. I think if you kill a million Iokafulus... Oh, crap! This is... This is, oh shoot! Oh god. Okay. Ah! Come on, die, Mr. Slime King! I'm so powerful. All these slimes on the bridges, though, they get a little bit... What do you call it? A little bit frustrating. Ah! This is a basic boss. I mean, who cares how easy this is or hard? There's plenty of goodies. This is the easiest way to fight this boss, I reckon. Oh. Come on, kill these guys. It's night time. Oh. <sighs> Just in time. Well, that was refreshing. That was a fair bit of battling time. Whatever you want to call it. Reflect. <gasps> a helmet! It's better than mine! I'm going to put it there. It's defense. I mean, no more slimes are going to come after me anymore. Solidify. We've already got the solidify. We've done a slime arc. Oh, now we've got a full set of armor. Okay. Pack everything away. We don't need everything. There's one item that I'd like to use, but, you know, it's probably not going to be the best item to use in the world. 
going to take a long time. And we're going to dig everything out of here, like, as soon as possible. And this will make it easier to do the digging. We're going to destroy our solidifiers. This whole room here is going to become a new area. And we're going to put an elevator in here. An elevator, whatever you want to call it. I'm call I'm gonna call it a elevator because that's the actual name it's called. And this is gonna make it possible for us to get around a lot easier. Well, not in basic terms. Basic terms would be to get around a lot easier, it's to get to hell a lot quicker. Rather than going through curves, you can just fall straight down. Or there's a quicker way again if you can get maximum mining, then you can just dig your way down to hell. And it'll be quicker than falling. Or teleport. That'll be even quicker again. So the idea right now is we dig, we dig, and we dig. And we're going to get everything we can before we run out of mining. We don't have to do everything, we just do as much as possible. And this will make it possible for us to come back and do whatever we have to do, and we don't have to worry about digging ever again. Just dig once, the end. I think this is fair, I mean, it's, it's quicker than having to, like, take forever to dig one hole. That's why I'm digging as much as I can with this potion, considering it's pretty hard to get those potions. In my opinion, anyway, I think you need some items which I don't actually have. I don't even have a glass jar on a table yet. That's how far behind I am. Now I'm gonna dig out this hole here. I'm gonna dig out as much land as possible. I'm gonna dig it up as high as I am right now. And a little bit higher if I get time. Because then we're gonna just place items everywhere. Like the walls and everything. I feel like slowing down just a little bit. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize this cave was here. Or maybe I did. Just never noticed it until now. This is also to get rid of water that we don't want in the house. So that's one reason why I'm digging. Oh god. First. I think we're doing pretty damn well. I don't have to even say a damn. So the idea behind this house is it's not going to be just any ordinary house. A lot of people think that, yeah, this is a normal house. No! This house is special because it has a design behind it to make it work a lot better. This is the chest-based design, which allows you to basically have a lot of chests and be able to access them a lot easier. And it's designed specifically so you have more room for putting chests down and organizing. Otherwise, you just have a room full of rubbish. I'm pretty sure everyone loves rubbish. Everyone loves a little bit of rubbish. A little bit too much is a bit bad, though. So this here is still getting dug out. And look at us, we still have plenty of time to spare. Maybe beyond. We'll, we'll go above and beyond. Because we're planning for the Brain of Cthulhu. Now, as soon as we get up to the Brain of Cthulhu, we're going to have a lot more stuff happening. It's not going to be more harder, it's just going to be a lot more stuff that's going to happen. Like, we're going to be planning for the final boss, like, what was his name? Skeletron? Yeah, he's one of the final bosses. I'm going to say he's the side boss, you don't have to kill him, but 
It's better to kill him than to let him live. This is a way of grappling and digging at the same time. You just press E as many times as you can, and you jump at the same time as you're Eing. Then you can just whack out, whack out as many blocks as you possibly can while you're still flying. And it works really, really well. I mean, you've seen it right there. I think this house is probably big enough, but still. Better to be safe than sorry. That's what everyone else says. I've been taught to be better safe than sorry. You never know, you might want some extra space and you're like, oh shoot. Don't have the space to do this. So, we're gonna make the space. We're gonna make it an awesome enough house that everyone's like, oh my god, I want a house like that. Because a lot of people will want houses like this. But, it's like this. you got to learn which, t which strategies work for you. I mean, this might not work for you guys. I'm, I mean, it's a strategy to build into your muscle memory. It's like, you know, you don't care about your house. I never originally do like my houses. I don't really care about them. Originally, this is how I work. I make a crappy house, enough to work with, and it, it works for me. But, that's one that doesn't have any design on it. When you put design elements into a house, it works a little bit better. Especially if you mm, muscle memory some of the stuff. If you enjoy doing it, if you want a good house, then yeah, of course you're going to change your opinions. And you're going to do something good. Now a lot of you guys... I don't know how many people here are, uh, like, watching and saying, You're an idiot. I, I don't care that I'm an idiot. I'm just thinking logically how people might think. I'm not saying you're thinking like this. I'm just taking on the opinion that you might think like this. I'm thinking to myself that you might be one of those people that are like, You know, I don't, I don't need this strategy. This strategy doesn't work for me. Okay, it doesn't work for you. Well, this works for me because it's a strategy that teaches you to, like, keep clean. It teaches you that, you know, you can have more space if you work this way. By the way, I knew that my time was running out. I have 22 seconds left before it runs out. So by the time I get to the end of this dig that I'm doing right now, I should have no time left. Well, actually, I think I'll have a little bit less than that time. It's like... I'll have no time left to do what I want to do, finish it. But still, it's a dig. It'll, I'll get it done. Even if it takes forever to dig, you know. Why bother? I mean, I can come back and do it another day. This is a slow pickaxe. Boringly slow. <clears throat> My strategy is going to get built into where I'm building right now. Beginners, beginners, beginners. Oh gosh. I just took out his house. Ow. He doesn't have a home anymore. Merchant's house is still intact. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find out which wood we're going to use now. Because we have more normal wood, I'm thinking I might use the normal wood. Get up to here. And if we have any... No, we don't have it in the inventory. But we might have thrown it in a chest. A random chest to make space. Yes! How good's that? We did. Mwahahaha. I'm not mwahahaha just because I got it right. It's because I got it right in the jackpot. Uh, okay, borrow wood. Borrow wood seems like to me it looks better than other woods. And maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I have no idea. You tell me what your opinion is, can. <laughs> I'm gonna do this as well because I'm a little bit, you know, kerfuffled. 
You don't have to do this. Although you could go one step better and just put platforms here. That will solve your problem. Hey look, he's not going to move. We'll get back to that section there. Now, this is the strategy. Oh god. Oh gosh, I need to change my words. I need to stop blaming God for all my mistakes, which are my mistakes, not his. Okay, fair enough. Okay, okay, there's the bunny rabbit. Hello, bunny rabbit! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to startle you like that. Now, a secret room. Hmm, I wonder if we should turn it into a secret room. Nah. So, the campfire. There's one good thing about a campfire. Place it in the middle of the house and you have regen buffs. So, let's see. What are we going to do with this house? We can make this more efficient again, and that's by putting it up one block higher. And the reason you put it up one block higher is because then you can place another platform in this, like, room, and then you can access more chests. Why it's more efficient. Why you're saving space. Many people don't care about space because, in reality, you don't need that much space. Why try to make that much space? Okay. Got plenty of space, we just build a house, you know. There's our wall. We've got a wall. It's, it depends on what we're building. What we're building right now is just houses. What I was talking about doing is doing this. And then you put a chest there. Bring this down. Galus? Is his name Galus? That's a weird name, honestly. A revolver. DPS meter, don't want a DPS meter. Tile reach. Hmm. I don't know if I want tile reach or not. It'd be good as a part of a builder's kit, but still. Do I really need it? Nah. Keep building. Build it the right materials, not the wrong materials. That way you can keep it looking good. I don't actually know if we recorded him spawning or anything. That would have been interesting. So what we do, to verify what we can place, knock out these two blocks, it's not important, those blocks are not important. I don't think it's going to ever spawn there, are slimes and jellies. Um, I have no idea. Bananas. That's what we'll do. We'll cheat. There we go. This is his house. Another guy's house. Does it matter if they're all the same size or whatever? No. Another guy's house. And I'll put a like a elevator in there. It doesn't have to be a elevator. Yes, I'm chopping the roof. Some people might figure out that, oh, it's going to raise it one more block. Yes. Build it once, not twice. I'm pretty sure there's like 16 NPCs in this game, so this will not be enough for all those NPCs. But, it'll be enough to make it start. Hmm. I'm just listening in the background that something gets a little bit funny. You know, guys, I, I feel like I have to do something. I have to feel obliged to do this. 
and change what I'm doing with my videos. Because it just doesn't feel quite right in my eyes. Like, I, I make my videos and it's like you have sections of me talking, sections of me not talking, and it just gets boring. I feel like I have to cut those bits out. But I don't want to look like a cheater or anything, so... I might start doing it, and if someone calls me a cheater, well... I've got the original recording, I can change something and, you know, Go back to how I was. No? Be... be regular. I mean, I'm not going to keep the recordings forever. Only because it's just too hard to maintain. On this computer especially, I don't have that much space. But I do have enough space to hold a few recordings. Enough to keep me satisfied for a while. Ahem. So, let's see. This is an anvil, this is a crafting bench. We're building up the house. We're going to... You know, let's just try to do some burial wood one. I think we can go backwards as well if we really, really had to. One, two. Each one needs one, two, three, four, five doors. And go twelve doors. What else do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. And one. No, okay, fine, one. We don't have enough of everything, but we can do this. First of all, my trick. Just, just hope it doesn't go downstairs. I have so many tricks. I just place the walls everywhere I possibly can. Running backwards and forwards if the door's not there. I place the doors last. Hmm. This might not be enough wood. But we can make a start at least. Whoever said we had to be perfect and have everything done right now? No one. But, we've got one room here ready. A room, a room, a room. A elevator. Now, this one here, I think, will be my straight up and down elevator. Legitimately. Door. 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 Actually, not. Leave all the doors. Why was that clicky noise? Acrophobia. Perfect. Now we just need more wood. Go shops, get more wood. Got more boreal wood. Wow, we have lots more boreal wood. We even have some magmi. Magmi. I might be missing something, I might not be seeing everything. We've got wood walls, for real wall. I keep calling it for real. Tell me if I'm making a mistake when I say for real wood. Sorry, not wood, for real. Rich Mahogamy, Mahogamy, for real. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying it right. Right enough that I'm happy with it. And we can make more for real wood. Sweet. Okay then. How many tables do we need? We've got the upstairs and we need three tables. 
Make that a magnet. Because we want to keep the house looking sweet. Is that even the right word? Sweet? No. We want it looking perfection if possible. Absolute perfection. It is critical we do this. No, it's not critical, but you know, it looks good. Yeah, I'm happy with this house so far. It's it's really turning out great. Once this house is finished, and we know that we can get some NPCs, doesn't have to be perfectly finished, but close enough, we will, we will, we will, move on to the next episode. Episode 9 or 10, no, it's 10. Wow, are we moving that quickly? Are we moving like at the speed of sound or light or something? Jeez. This video... Coming to an end. And when it's over, you know what's gonna happen. Oh my god, that music! Are these tables? What's a workbench? Why? Okay, fine, be a workbench. Now, housing. Is it already occupied? Okay, that's a glitch. Oh no, it's not a glitch. Missing tables, okay. Um, a door goes here. A door goes here. A door goes here. A door goes here. And then we go here. Suitable, suitable. Occupied. Yay, we're getting NPCs! It's amazing! Good. Change location. Need more tables. Why is it a workbench? Does it have to be a workbench? No. One, two. We'll get two more tables. And voila! Eat some food if you get a chance, nurse. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy. Now. Oh, I'm making mistakes. Uh. Okay, this episode's almost over, guys. So I'll just say I'm appreciative of you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. The more people like the content, the more I'll post. I gotta put the door here, maybe. And a sump hole. I don't know. I'll figure out what to do with this house. But in the meantime, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. The more people like my content, the more I'll post. Thanks for watching, and have a great day! Or not. Bye bye everybody until episode 10.